Welcome to Midlife Flysis. I hope you enjoy today's video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, or leave a comment. I read and answer them all. If you are interested in any of the flies I use in the video, or in a guided trip with me, visit my website, link in description, or email me. I'd be happy to tie some flies for you, or have you as a guest for a day. Not ready yet. It goes right into that curve and just pulls it right down. Yeah. Oh, we're at that dangerous part. There we go. And the dog's breakfast is the winner again. There we go. Another nice cut out of that hole. Woo! Oh, he gave me the splash. <laughs> I think I still nice size fish. For sure. See, it's amazing that that many of them can be in a hole that small. You know? Must be. No, that was something bumped it. Yeah, because from here you can follow it around. Nice. And one on the dog's breakfast. Again, it looks like he's got a missing gill plate. He's missing a gill plate. Somebody foul hooked him on the gill and broke it off, I think. Got him. That's a thick one. There we go. Nice size cut out of that pool. Wet hands. And a lively fish. We're just gonna let him go out of the net. And off he goes. No, not the same one. 
Took the stone fly. All right, got another nice cut there. This one took the never fail stone. I wanted to get hung up. I got my flies hung up in my net here. Off he goes. Into the depth. Craig's got a fish on up front there. Nice one! He's getting the hook out of it right now. Looks to be a decent size. Oh yeah, that's a nice one! All right, Craig's going to release his beauty cut here. Better smile. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Beauty. Well done. Did it come up for the dry? Nice. If there was any sunlight, we might actually be able to see to the bottom. After the fish stopped responding to Craig's dry flies, he offered to hold me to nip for a while while he changed rigs. He's a good fishing partner and we know how to share the water. Later this winter, there'll be a video on how to share the water <laughs> with your fishing partner. Eager. All right, come here, little guy. What happens next really illustrates just how desperately these cuts have to feed during their incredibly short ideal feeding season. There we go. Whoa! Did he have any marks on him? Uh, this one's got a big mark on his side. side. Yeah, this is the same fish you just caught. Yeah, he's got a big wound. Yeah. All right. So I just caught Craig's fish from a few minutes ago. We can tell because it's got this big wound on the side of it. All right, so out here fishing with Craig and uh, he, he brought beer. So he's like the ultimate fishing partner. Brought a few. Yeah. And so we're, it's uh, Bow River Brewing. And this is their Saxony German Lager, which Craig says is like his favorite. It's a traditionally brewed, genuine German style beer. Awesome. Yep. Amber. Oh. It's an amber. It's, it's good. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Well, that tops off a good yeah, morning. Yeah, it, it's smooth. Like I, that's why I like it. For a darker beer, it's it's really good. Mm -hmm. Amber Lager. Yes. Yeah, good people at Bow River Brewing. Really good. All right, so there you go. There's the plug. Bow River Brewing. Ah, it's been a good morning so mm -hmm. far. But now the river's busy. It's okay. We'll find some other water. I'm sure.
Who'd have thunk it? Especially way back yonder. Yeah. Off the beaten path. Off the beaten path. Oh well. Nothing's a secret anymore, but that's okay. Nothing's a secret anymore. No. They have to be good fishermen to catch. Yeah. <laughs> and it didn't look like either of them was having much luck. So. No. We that's can all. We good. can take that away because we did. We certainly yeah. did. The same fish. Yes. Ten minutes apart. Ten minutes apart, caught the same fish. And I know you're probably thinking, yeah, whatever, how do you know that? It, it definitely was because it had the same marking on it. Craig took a picture of it, it had a big mark on the side of it. And then when I caught it, I'm like, hey, did your fish have a big mark on the side? On the sure right enough. hand side, just same back from the gill plate. Fish. Yeah. A big gash. A big gash. Something took a chunk out of it. Yeah. So don't ever think you're spooking a pool and putting it down forever. <laughs> <laughs> you can pull in a fish and 10 minutes later pull them out again. I thought that was good when we caught a fish an hour apart, me and another buddy. Yeah. I thought that was pretty impressive, mm -hmm. but that's even, that's more, even impressive. more impressive. Ten minutes apart. Yeah, pretty good. And a nice size fish too. Mm-hmm. For the water we caught him in, especially. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful colors. Beautiful. Very fortunate to be able to enjoy stuff like that. Yeah. It's muggy. So a little humidity, but that cloud cover is not breaking. So mm -hmm. I thought we were going to get lucky, but it's it might stay overcast, and that could be pretty okay thick. <clears throat> yep. A little more bugs on the water. But beautiful day. Beautiful day. Good water, good company. It's only ten and, after one. And so far, really good fishing. On no tell them creek. No, exactly. <laughs> I tell you, but I have to kill you. <laughs>